If you would like to become a published author, but you don't know where to begin, and you're trying to publish a nonfiction book, then this video is for you. I'm going to explain the steps to take if you're trying to get your nonfiction book published. And we're starting right now. Getting a book published is a process and it involves specific steps. We're talking about getting a nonfiction book published because I've never gotten a fiction book published and I don't write fiction, so I don't I can't really speak to you about that. In terms of getting a nonfiction book published, these are the critical steps. I'm gonna go in order. Number one, develop and refine your nonfiction manuscript idea. What is a manuscript? Well, that's another name for your unpublished book. So first, spend time figuring out what you're going to write about, what's the time period, what's the subject or the topic, and refine it. Because at some point, you'll have to be able to explain it to an agent and to a publisher. Number two, you're going to have to know your competition. You have to research the market. You're going to have to identify other books that are similar to yours and try to be able to determine and explain what your book offers that the other books do not. That makes your book more desirable by publishers. Now, step three is the big step, writing your book proposal. This is crucial for nonfiction authors. You know, unlike fiction, nonfiction books are sold to publishers based simply on a proposal, not a completed manuscript. Your proposal should include an overview of your book, a chapter, outline, sample chapters, your target audience, competitive titles, you know, the books that are like yours, and of course, a bit about you as the author. Fourth step, you're going to have to identify and locate a literary agent. Traditional publishers do not accept unsolicited manuscripts, and you will not get published without having a literary agent. You have to go through a literary agent. That's just how the game is played. Uh, so that means you have to identify and locate a, liter a literary agent that specializes in the genre of your book. So literary agents are not one size fits all. They will have specialty genres that they, they work in. So you want an agent that maybe deals with history, deals with self-help, memoir stuff, health and wellness, politics, education, teens and youth, or what have you. A literary agent has relationships they've formed over time with editors and publishers, and they work with you to refine your book proposal, and then they meet with editors to share your proposal and try to sell them on your book. And naturally, they shop it around at different publishers and hopefully get you a deal. I should note, there are some scams going on with uh, fake literary agents who are charging people fees. Literary agents only get paid if and when you sign a publishing deal. If they ask you to pay a fee up front, they are not legitimate. You never pay a literary agent up front. They get paid automatically when you get your checks from the publishing house. And typically, that's 15% uh, of what you get. Once you go online and you identify your literary agent that fits your project, you will send them a query letter. A query letter is a, a one-page or less letter in which you explain and describe your manuscript idea to a literary agent, to the literary agent you're trying to work with. Your goal is to get the agent interested in your manuscript and willing to be your agent. Many times, you'll do this whole process online. You'll submit your book proposal, your query letter, all that stuff will be online. Now, once you and your literary agent have worked on your book proposal to refine it, sharpen it, make it clearer, your agent, as I said before, is going to meet with different editors of publishing houses, have lunch with them. They're going to take that proposal you wrote. They're going to use it to convince them to offer you a publishing contract. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips on writing and publishing. And if you're currently working on a book, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. 
Thanks for watching and happy writing.